Ghost man, what who's here? Zombie, it seems a long time ago since I found this old building in the uh, this in the urban area of my town. And it looked it, an abandoned warehouse, I believe. All I can hear is the lot from the lot storage containers whistling on the wind. Strangely, the birds, cars, or people. I'm getting more uncomfortable as the day or night carries on, as I have no sense of time at all. Oh, sorry. All I see is rusty metallic walls reflecting back on me. I am beginning to feel hungry, for well, I have not eaten in days, so I feel feeble. When will this nightmare end? Some time ago, I was just sitting at home, watching the news, when a red warning appeared on, on it that said, This is not a hoax. Please avoid contact with the newly infected victims of the superflu virus. We are now starting martial law. All citizens must report into designated areas for their own protection. All my senses went to the right and flight mode. And I became even more scared when I heard bangs and groans on my front door. I did not want to wait around. I did not want to be a victim of the new superflu. So I ran and ran and ran. All around me, all I could see was a sense of panic. People smashing windows, grabbing win- grabbing televisions, shoes, anything they could get hold of. The sense of society had broken down, was all around me. I did not want to be part of this. So I decided to get out. I walked for miles and miles. I tried to use the cars, but they, from now on, then every time I, a car ran out of petrol, I had to get out and walk again. I saw no one for ages and ages, until I came across an old factory site. I wandered into the site and found there were containers at Santa, and outside the, the factory doors. I looked within and seen they seemed comfortable for just one night. All I needed was just one night to sleep. I would be okay. Then I would be moved to the next town and all would be okay again. I would find more peace there. I heard the footsteps coming towards my container. I heard the muffled voices. As they said, they seemed to say something about food, and perhaps there'd be more inside. We are hungry, they said. I was waiting, waiting and waiting for them to open the door. For my hunger had grown and grown and grown. I was indeed very hungry. Finally, that I heard the lock break. Entered. Came entering the container were two or three or four people. As they looked at me, they looked in shock. I did not know why. To them, to me, they were only rains. 